Good morning, everyone, and happy Pi Day. I am here today to attempt to, in the most basic and simple way possible, explain what Pi is and how it works. My students ask me all the time, why did they choose this weird, non-repeating, never-ending decimal? And I can't tell you exactly how they found it, because that's a whole other conversation, but I can show you why it works. So I'm first going to draw a circle. I'm going to use two protractors here and I'm going to draw you as close to a perfect circle as possible. It does not matter the size of the circle, just matters that it is as accurate as possible. Now obviously, as you can tell, I'm a little inaccurate with my hands, um, but it doesn't need to be perfectly accurate for us to get the idea. We can have a little bit of human error and still, this, and still realize that this works. Now, first thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to find the diameter of this circle. And I'm going to do it with a piece of string that I pre-cut. So diameter is the distance from any side of the circle to the other side. Um, if you take a look, it doesn't matter where this goes. As long as when you measure, you pass through the center of the circle and it is the longest path across the circle, you are going to get the same diameter. That's always going to be the same. So I'm going to take this diameter, which is the exact length of the string, and then I'm going to cut some more strings out of it. And you can do this with any circle. I did this ahead of time to save time in this video. But you can do this with any circle whatsoever. And if you have four of them, you'll be able to prove that pi works. Now I'm going to take these strings. I'm going to start wrapping them around the circle to show the circumference. For uh, those of you needing a review of math terms, the circumference is the distance around the circle. It's kind of like the perimeter of a square or rectangle, but it is the outside border of a circle. That is the circumference. So I'm going to take one diameter, make two diameters, and you might already be making a prediction as to how many this is going to take, three diameters, and not quite a fourth, but a portion of the fourth will go right here. What portion will that be? That will be uh, 0.14159 going on and on. And the reason why is because every circle, the cir uh, sorry, the circumference will always be equal to 3.14159 or pi times the diameter. So if you take the diameter of any circle multiply it by 3.14159, you will get the circumference. That's why we use it to find, you know, areas of circles, areas of all sorts of things, is because when it comes to the circle, that is the closest and most accurate way we've come to uh, basically compare the diameter, which once again is across, and the circumference, which is, I'm going to draw a really hastily drawn thing here, the circumference is the distance around, so if we do diameter times pi, we will always get the circumference. I hope that helps. Hope that uh, instills some curiosity and happy Pi Day, everyone.